Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. My name is Kimberly and today we're going to be walking through how to verify email addresses either before or after the submission takes place. As a form creator, collecting our contacts emails is probably one of the most important things that we can do with our forms. Now we know all too well that sometimes whenever people are entering in their email address, they might leave off that M on .com and it might be a complete accident or we know there's people out there who end up putting fake or false email addresses to where the content that we're going to be sending them is going to end up going nowhere. So we want to make sure that the email address that they enter is correct from the get go. So let's jump over to the dashboard and I will walk you through two different ways on how to verify email addresses. So for this one, we're not going to create a form. I'm going to go ahead and start with a form that I already have, but if you don't already have a form made, you're going to want to make sure to click on create a form. I'm going to go ahead and attach this email address verification to this very first form, the contact information. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit form. Now there's two different ways that we can do this. We can either verify their email address before they even submit the form, or we can do it after. So let's go ahead and start with verifying before they even submit their form. So with this, you can see I have very basic contact information form. I have their name, email, and phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to the top left up to add a form element. And then we have basics, payments, and widgets. And widgets is what we are looking for. So for us, we're going to search for email because we are looking for the email validator, which is right down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it's going to bring it down to the bottom. Now with this one, because I already had the email up here, we don't actually need that for this specific case. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this email. Now, if I got this form and I saw this email validator, I wouldn't really know what this is for or about. So I'm going to go ahead and change this top part to verify your email. Perfect. So now we can come over and we can look at the widget settings so we can kind of get an idea of how this widget is going to work. So it tells you what the email subject is going to say. So whenever they click on that verify email box, they're going to get an email. They're not going to submit. They're going to click that verify email. They're going to get an email. It says, please verify your email. This is going to be the email contents. And this is also going to be the message on the form, which we're going to do this in real time. You'll be able to see all of this. So this all looks good. So let's go ahead and let's give this a test. I'm going to go ahead and hit the publish button. I'm going to open in a new tab. All right, let me enter in my name. Okay, since I didn't make these required questions, I'm not going to worry about the phone number. I'm going to come down here to verify your email. It's going to auto populate. And then I click on verify email. So here it says the verification code has been sent to your email. Please check your email inbox and paste the code below to complete verification. Now, again, we can come back over here and we can click on the little widget settings, the magic wand, and we can edit what that says. So if you want to change any piece of that, you definitely can. All right, so let's head to my email and let's see if I got that email right here. Please verify your email. So with this, they're going to have to copy this code right here. So it says, please copy this code, paste it into your form to complete the verification process. So here is the code that we are going to need. And then it also says that this code is only valid for 24 hours. It can only be used once. So I'm going to grab that code, come back over to my form and paste it in, confirm code. Your email has successfully been verified. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click submit. So one thing with this one is, we had to verify before we ever hit submit. So if someone entered an invalid email and it's a required question, they wouldn't be able to submit the form. Now, if you're on the free plan, this is really helpful because each submission is counting towards that plan. So now let's go back and let's take a look at what it would look like to verify their email after they have made that submission. Now with this, we need an app. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this question and I'm also going to go back over here to the basics for this second one, the after the fact, we need that email. We need for them to submit their email before we can verify it. Now, one thing with this app is that it requires to have a field, like a text field. So I'm going to go ahead and use a short text and they say it's recommended to have it hidden. So no use whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and choose properties and then advanced, and then we are going to hide the field. And just so we can know what we're looking for, I'm gonna go ahead and type in hidden text field. 
All right. Now for this app, we need to access it by utilizing a special link. Now I'm sure it will be down below in the description and we'll also be putting it up in one of the YouTube cards, but I'm going to share it with you now. It is subverifier.jotform.io and that's going to take you here. So it says submission verifier and we're going to want to launch the app. It's just going to let us know, hey, do we authorize giving this submission verifier access to our Jotform account? Yes, allow. So from here, we're going to choose which form we want to use this on. So ours is that very top one, the contact information. Now you can see it says select a field and it says hidden text field, even though we had email field, we had the name field. Let me show you an example on one of my other forms. So let's say church donations. It says this form does not have an allowed question, even though there are short text fields on that one. So have a short text field, have it hidden, and this will work wonders for you. All right, so we're gonna choose that hidden text field. And for the enter a value, it gives you an example. Do we want this to say confirmed or verified? I'm gonna go ahead and choose verified. And then where do we want the email to go once they have said, hey, this is my email? I want it to go to mine, so I'm gonna put my email in there. All right, and then we have the confirmation message. So this is once they get their email, and they click the link, which we're gonna walk through in just a second, this is the page that shows up. So thank you for your submission. So for me, I'm gonna click on edit this message and I'm going to say thank you for verifying your email. And then we click on generate link. So we can either choose this right here, verify your submission, or we can choose the actual link. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the plain text link right here. I'm gonna copy it. now. We're gonna go back over to our form and up in settings, we're gonna to go to the emails because again, this is them verifying after they have hit that submit button. If you have an autoresponder email, you'll choose it here. This one doesn't, so we're gonna add an email and we're gonna choose autoresponder email. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete this field. And then we're pretty much gonna say, your submission has been received, please verify your email here. Now, I'm going to highlight the here because I'm going to want them to click on it. I'm gonna choose the link button. I'm gonna insert that link that I just copied. Hit okay so we can see that here. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the email subject because sometimes when we submit a form and we get the, hey, we've received your response, some people might not look at it. So what I'm gonna do is please verify your email or even better, have it say one more step. Verify email. Perfect, so we're gonna go ahead and save. Now let's give this a test. I'm gonna populate, I'm gonna leave my number blank. So again, we're gonna go ahead and hit submit. It says my submission has been received, so let's pop over to my email to see if it came through. And there we go, right here. One more step, verify your email. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It says your submission has been received, please verify your email here. And there we go. Super simple, thank you for verifying your email. So let's pop back over to our form and up in the top left right here where it says form builder, we're going to choose table. So this is going to take us to the submissions piece of this. So we can see right here, it was the email address and it was verified. And for this example, the reason why we don't see the first email address is because I deleted that field. Now make sure you're not deleting fields if you need that, make sure you hide it instead, but that is pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions about verifying email addresses, just drop it down below in the comments. And just remember, if you're using the widget, that first example, they're not going to be able to continue submitting if they enter an incorrect email because they're never going to get the email with that verification code. And with the second one, if they put in an incorrect email, they're never going to get the email anyway. So this will never say verified. I hope this helps and I will see you later.